Hello again. One of the ways in which right-wing people differ from those who are left-wing these days is that those on the right are more likely to be in favour of free speech. This is an odd reversal of what used to be the case until a few years ago. In both Britain and the United States, it always used to be right-wing folk who wished to limit free speech because they thought that blasphemy should be prevented and that sedition might be promoted if people could just say what they pleased publicly. Now, though, it is left-wing types who wish to prevent people speaking freely, lest they express ideas which are racist or transphobic, or in case they spread medical misinformation or rumours about current events. The left-wingers have a list as long as your arm of things that they feel people should be denied a platform to say out loud, whereas right-wing people want everybody to have the freedom to say what they please. Alex Jones is an American radio presenter and owner of a very popular website called Infowars, and he suggests that a number of things, such as the moon landings, are actually hoaxes. As it happens, I don't agree with a lot of what he says, but that's neither here nor there. The more that efforts have been made to suppress his views, the more popular he has become, and the more it looks as if powerful forces are trying to silence him and prevent his views being heard. This is bad news for everybody, because it means that the focus shifts from whether what he is saying is true or false to whether or not powerful people and organisations are trying to shut him up. Since this is almost certainly the case, it is then only a single step to concluding that he must be right because those in authority are afraid of people hearing what he has to say. I can think of many reasons why people in authority wouldn't want somebody saying untrue stuff about guns and shooting, so, so the fact that people want to suppress Alex Jones' ideas doesn't tell me that they are necessarily true. What will decide whether or not what he is saying is true is really very simple. You just allow his views to circulate freely. In the course of time, the true things will be revealed and anything which is false will be exposed. We don't need to be so cautious about protecting the truth in this way or preventing people from saying stuff that we think might not be true or might be harmful. Truth can look after itself if we let it loose. It is for this reason that I'm glad to see that Alex Jones is back on Twitter or X or whatever it's called now. He can say what he pleases and anybody at all can then give his or her opinion on what is said. It means that open debate will take place. Under those conditions, it will be very difficult for anything false to flourish. I've always been baffled at this idea that one mustn't be allowed to say that the earth is flat or that the Holocaust never happened or that the moon landings or the shooting at Sandy Hook were hoaxes. If you prevent people from saying such things and try to silence them, then of course this will simply make it look as though those things are very fragile and need to be protected from the rough people who would deny them. This is absurd. It's in the nature of truth to flourish. If anything which Alex Jones says is not true, we can be sure that this will soon show up in the rough and tumble of Twitter. Stopping free speech only allows myths and conspiracy theories to grow, whereas exposing them to the light of day has quite the opposite effects.